day and age when we run towards evil we compete with one another and who can drive the fastest car we compete in one another in chasing after the dunya we compete in one another who is bigger and harder and better you see one lad he's in the gym he's training he's benching 150 there's a lad next to him is competition man's got to be bigger than him man's got to be stronger than him he's got to have bigger arms than him Hakikat. that's the reality that's the way life works today if he has a house i have to have a house bigger than his if he's got a slick car i've got to have a slicker car i've got to have a car that looks even better why because we're competing with one another in this dunya we're fighting against one another we, we compete with one another in bad deeds improving a point to the boys how often will you compete with one another to prove a good deed how often will you compete with one another to say who can read the longest salah how often will you compete with one another and say let's see who can remember allah almighty the most you don't because it's not interesting when the child gets to 16 17 he's grown up now he's got a mobile phone in his hand and all of, what was it about at that age he wants freedom he wants to get out there he wants to enjoy life get out buy a car pass his driving zoom the streets of Leighton and Walthamstow that's what he wants to do he wants to prove a point have a slick motor doesn't matter how he gets it if he wants to look cool he will do haram to look cool he will do haram to look cool but he has to look cool you see it's all about street respect street rep he's got to have a street rep if he ain't got no street rep he ain't he ain't counting brother's not known people don't want to know him he will only be known if he has the street rep and what's the street rep today today's street reputation we're too worried about pleasing people we're too worried about pleasing the boys pulling the bear we ain't interested in pleasing interested in pleasing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the state that we live in look at that look how amazing life is you used to live your life like you were the king you thought you were everything you wore the best gums you drew the you, you were driving the flashiest cars you lived in the biggest houses you had the most beautiful wife and children everything despite all of this despite chasing after the dunya you know when you die where's that house gone where are those clothes gone those flashy clothes gums armanis that you were wearing that the, the the Fred Perry's that you were wearing, the Adidas and Nike that you were wearing, all this that you thought, I need to look good, I need to look good. When you enter your grave, what are you going to be wearing? Two sheets of cloth, that's it, khalas. Three sheets max, wallah. You're not going to go in there with your night gums. You ain't going to go there with your flashy gums. You live your life like you're going to live forever, but when you will enter your grave, that clothes that you were wearing, those clothes you were wearing, the house that you lived in, that money, bank balance, everything that you've gathered, where is it left? Has it gone with you in your grave? Will it be there in your grave? Will your money answer for you? You're chasing after the mal and dollar today. You're thinking about getting rich and proving a point to people. What point are you going to prove in your grave? We are Muslims. We believe in life after death. We believe that after this world, there is another world waiting for me and you. What are we prepared for that world? We're spending too much time thinking about this dunya. We're building our bank balances, Barclays, HSBC, Lloyd's TSBC. We're, we're too busy chasing after this dunya. The real bank balance is what? The real bank balance is the bank balance of the Akhirah.